In this Python nice GUI tutorial, we will make a web application with a time element. The date and time selected in the time and date input objects will be displayed in the label object. In the video I will show step by step how to do the application. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I will create a time element. I am creating a variable. I save the code file and run it. You can go to this address using any browser. I created a web application with a time element. I briefly show how to use the time object. Now I will add a default value to the time object. I can do this using the value property. I am saving the code file. I changed the initial value. Now I will create a date object. I am creating a variable. I am saving the code file. I added the date element to the web page. Now I will add a default value to the time object. I can do this using the value property. I am saving the code file. I changed the default value of the date input object. Now I will add a label object. The selected date and time will be displayed in this object. I am saving the code file. I added the label object to the web page. I want a function to be called when the date and time objects change. I can do this using the onChange feature. I define on change in the date object. I define the function I specified in the code file. I will change the text property of the label object. I can do this using the setText function. I access the values of objects using the value function. I am saving the code file. I make selections in time and date objects. The date and time I selected are displayed in the label object. I can give it a few tries. In this video, we learned how to use the time object. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.